Korora. 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 Hello YouTube, I'm Dorian, and this is Corora. What is Corora? Well, Corora is actually uh, a word that means little penguin, which is a penguin you'd find in Australia. Uh, what it also is, is an operating system based off of Fedora. Uh, this version here is based off of Fedora 2.6. Uh, they don't have a version 27 yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll come soon. And uh, it uses, the one that I downloaded is of course GNOME, and it's using version 3.24.2. The newest is 3.26, so this is fairly new, considering uh, Ubuntu's right now using 3.18, and OpenSUSE Leap is using 3.20, so a little more up to date. Uh, what's special about this? Well, it is basically Fedora. Um, if you go on their website, you know they have a, a community and everything. Which I think you have to register to access. I did not register, so I do not have access, so I can't show you. Um, but they have all of their stuff on GitHub. Uh, it's all open source, but going through uh, a lot of it seems to be mostly theme based and customization based they don't have a whole lot of actual software that they've created to customize it other than i believe this welcome window that pops up when you first start it it may be on fedora as well maybe they just customized this but when you first install it um, you get a little menu where you pick your language, pick your keyboard layout, and so on. Uh, so how is it different from Fedora? Well, <clears throat> I don't really think it's that different, to be honest, uh, other than customizations. They do have, uh, let me just find it here, packages. They do have a repo, but the majority of their software comes from um, Fedora, which is fine. Uh, you want to spin your own distro and make it look how you want. Hey, that's cool. Um, but I don't know what direction they were going when they chose the software that is included because I think it's actually a little strange. I mean, Audacity is fine. Boxes even to run virtual machines is fine. Um, but then they, they seem to have just included a little bit of everything, along with the standard Fedora stuff. Um, GIMP, awesome. Um, but Darktable, this phone software, uh, what else was there? There was a couple of other things. Project management, uh, sound converter, sound juicer. They just seem to kind of throw in a bunch of stuff just to have a wide variety of things. Uh, Personally, I would rather have um, less to be able to pick what I want, but they've chosen to just kind of give you a widespread of software so you have everything that you need. Um, and they've also included SE Linux, the security enhanced Linux, which uh, if you're running a server or you want to play with that type of stuff, that's fine. But for the average user, I don't think you would touch it. I've played with it, but I, I don't actually use it. Um, the themes are their own, but I, of course, change everything. I really don't like Numix, so I always stick with the good old ArcMaya and Mocha combo. But one thing I found is when you boot up, uh, for some reason, for one quick second when the desktop loads up, it shows the default icons and then switches to the Mocha icons. I don't know why. Maybe it's just something to do with the display. Speaking of display, uh, this is installed on hardware. Um, and by default, it uses Wayland. And it will not load up if I use X11, if I use Xorg. I don't know why. Um, I tried installing. I have my hybrid uh, video card, so it's an Intel and NVIDIA. I tried installing NVIDIA, 
drivers and it wouldn't boot up at all in Wayland or Xorg. Uh, I also tried installing Optimus and Prime, trying to get my dual video card working how it should, couldn't get it to work. So unfortunately, because this is Wayland, I'm using the only uh, recording ability for Wayland. I, I usually use Simple Screen Recorder, which I like much better, but hopefully the quality turns out okay in this. Uh, so yeah, I'm using Easy Screencast. A um, couple of other things that pop up uh, when you install it, this background logo extension, which is that little corner. You see this? So I actually think that's kind of cool because you could put whatever logo you want and you can have it in any corner you want. Um, I guess it's good for corporate or if you record videos, I might actually start using it just because of that. So that's neat. Um, and then open weather places, a couple things. My mouse battery is low. And uh, yeah, so it's Fedora. It's a customized Fedora. Um, if you use Fedora, you'll probably like it. One thing that I don't like, and this is a Fedora thing, this isn't just Corora. Corora uses the Fedora installer, of course. Um, so when you're installing, you pick your language, you get to this window, and this is where you pick time date keyboard and your installation destination. This I find really odd, and I'm not a big fan. Uh, I have multiple drives in my computer, so I would pick um, pick my drive, and I, I want to custom, customize, because I have a lot of partitions on my system. So when you pick your partition, you get this weird thing. Mine, I put some fake partitions in here just to give you an idea, but this is how it shows up. And so I guess you just type in your mount point and then go from there. But it doesn't make sense. I'm used to seeing the beginning to end of the drive type thing. So, sorry, I'm using a scaled. Let me just do this. Sorry, it's going to be a little small, but the scaled part is messing up messing up my mouse so let me just do this you have to go advanced this blivet GUI and now it shows you something that makes a little bit more sense so you've got your free space here this is like how my drive was because I have multiple operating systems installed already so this makes more sense because I can see the free space in between my other partitions and I can confirm that yes that's how it is um, but then when you have like a BTRFS volume or, or LVM volume or something else, it, it shows up as a separate device here. I don't know. Not a fan. No big deal. Um, not really a deal breaker, but um, was not a fan of seeing that when I was installing it. Just, I don't know why they couldn't just lay it out. But again, that's a Fedora thing. That's not a Corora thing. If you like Fedora, You'll like Corora. Um, it comes in uh, the usual GNOME. Where are they? Uh, GNOME KDE. Let me see here. Yeah, so you just pick your version. Right now it's only 2.6. And then they have Cinnamon, GNOME, KDE, Mate, and XFCE. So you just pick the one you want, hit download, and off you go. Another issue that I have with Corora, uh, the I know it's an ACPI problem, but the machine will not shut down properly uh, or reboot. I just end up at a uh, terminal saying system halted, uh, but then I start getting weird CPU hanging issues. Um, I've encountered this before with other operating systems, and it's just a matter of adding some switches to the the um, the grub boot line, but it's not working for me so I don't know I don't know why it won't shut down I don't know why I can't get the ACPI to work properly but anyways that's it for now uh, as always you can find me on Twitter at Dorian.slash uh, if you like the video like it subscribe it share it if you can and until next time I am Dorian <laughs>